All right, guys. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a couple things to the truck. So currently, uh, the back wheel does not spin, so we need to get that freed up. We need to get this truck moved up, get some fresh tires on it, and um, get a couple more things done to it. Um, so yeah, guys. Okay, so we got the hood open. This is what we have. Uh, inline six, like I said. And there's nothing hooked to the carburetor. Well, I think this is. This is hooked to the carburetor, and there's one vacuum line coming from the distributor. That would be your uh, adv vacuum advance for the carburetor. So, um, regardless, um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff broken here. Not really 100% sure what's going on. This thing definitely, like I said, definitely needs to be completely redone. There's no saving it. I don't even. I wouldn't even know where to start. Um, regardless of all that, we are going to go ahead and, I have taken this back, this, this brake line loose. It broke right loose. I mean, it didn't, it, it, and just, I was able to just take it right out. Um, I bought a set of flare nuts today, Harbor Freight flare nuts, but regardless, I did not want to strip anything. And it is twisting the whole line. There it goes. Now the line is not wanting to come with it. We'll work that a little bit because I'm trying to save these brake lines. I really don't want to redo the brake lines on this thing. Um, not, I mean, at least not right. I do whenever I uh, get the motor and all that for it and for a little further on down the line. But regardless of that, I do want to try to at least move it. This master cylinder, I took the cap off of it. It's just nothing but rust. Okay, so I haven't recorded in a minute, but we've been doing some stuff. First things first, new mash cylinders here. Um, the old one's actually in this box. We already put on our new one. Did not really do a lot for our brake system. So we're currently trying to get our drums off, which we successfully accomplished here. And then we're gonna need to take a look at our um, calipers up front. We'll get to that shortly, but like I said guys, new masters on. Um, our lines hooked up. We got their lines in there. They're nice and free. They turn easy. You can actually literally turn them by hand. So that is super nice on that. Um, things we still have to do. So, we were pulling it up and we noticed that this wheel turned. No real problems. This wheel on the other hand did not turn at all so, and it is I can't turn it it's 100% seized up so I've been wailing on it right here in these areas to try to get it off it looks like there's some way of pressing it off but that would probably just strip out the threads the threads inside of the axle because something's holding it so back here what I've already done is I took the bleeder valve out right there and um, obviously there's no fluid, but I tried to turn this line and it's spinning this whole This thing here is spinning this whole piece right here this whole line and that's not good for us um, The only other thing we might be able to do would be to unbolt the wheel cylinder and See if we can't get something to work out like that um, But I had a, I had a third idea which was that our parking brake cable is somehow not unseizing over there and so that's what's causing our seizure right here because I've been smacking on this trying to get things to work free and you would have thought that if you know that was the problem if it was a problem with just something being just stuck if I smacked it hard enough it would have jolted it enough to break it make it come back loose you would think anyway so I'm thinking that we have a parking brake cable issue I'm gonna check that out see what I come up with and go from there wow this truck is in mighty good shape um so yeah guys that's the current plan so yeah all right guys so jumping way ahead sorry forgot to film got a little caught up in the moment there um so what we ended up doing was taking out our back piece and spinning the stall wheel all the way down that allowed us to get the drum off we now have a truck that will roll which is good um 
because we actually had to pull it out with a truck before and it just I can show you the damage not a lot to the to our yard but yeah it just dug all the way from its old grave site so anyways now our plan is to get these front wheels up get them changed out to some tires that hold air maybe we can put some air in those and it'll be easier to roll but me and my dad can just about push it now so it should be able to move this in with a lawnmower um lawnmower hooked up with people pushing obviously not just the lawnmower so yes that is the current plan man this thing is rough so a lot of work in the future guys lots of body work that i'm gonna have to do so it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun So, 1981 F100, we just got done labeling everything. So we have our heater core cable that controls that. Uh, headlights are all labeled. Everything that's broke has been labeled. So now we can take the entire hood harness or engine harness out of this truck and we'll know where everything goes. We have two cab over there. Um, so we'll have to disconnect the bolt connector inside of the cab. And then from there, we'll be good to go. What, what are you doing? Victor, big, I know big, what that is. Big hose. You, what? You didn't, oh, you yeah, didn't put yeah, it where yeah, I can yeah, read yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you're right, my bad. Big, big hose. Here. Now I know what it is. So, now we can begin taking this thing apart. And wait a second, is that blue? Uh, it's more like a... Uh, it's a blue. How what color is this truck? Look, there's red paint here, yellow paint there, black paint here, blue paint over there. There's at least seven different colors on this truck. And part of it's moss. Hey, you leave it moss alone. It adds class. Well, you know what? I'll, I'll it add, adds class. These rust spots on yes. the front part right here yes. really add class. They add class. Bit. So now we can get our wiring out, redo it. Um, there's really not a lot of redoing to do. Redoing to do, huh? I'm funny. I'm not. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're just gonna pretty much retape everything. And uh, Victor, why is the headlight? You know what? You know, <laughs> you're good. <laughs> we're, we're, we're proud of you. I don't think you are. What I do? What? <laughs> what, is, what is this one for? It's labeled right here. Headlight. Okay, that's that's headlight. The headlight. Why do you do that? Because then we don't need. It. What do you? How are you gonna know where that goes? Because you labeled it here. The only thing we have to do now is start unbolting everything, getting cables out of the way. But that'll probably be in the next video. Um, something real quick. So the suspension on this truck is rated for like. 1400 pounds per spring and this spring is messed up so what i've done is i went to the junkyard and i got some half ton coal springs out of an 89 f250 with a 460 in it and we're going to be slapping those bad boys underneath this thing so that we'll have some stiffened up suspension to support the weight of that motor and then we also have one more tire to go on the front i still have one more to get um so that we have a properly rolling truck but after that guys we are good to start just tearing into this thing. We, we can start disconnecting all of our wires, get all of that out of the way. Then we can start uh, removing stuff from the interior, seat, all that stuff. But like I said, guys, it's gonna be another video because um, I've already drawn this one out quite enough. And if I keep dragging it out, I'll never get it posted. So. Question. Uh, these tail lights, were they factory or do you think somebody just screwed them on there? No, those, those are factory. Really? Yeah, that's what they look like. Okay. They bolt to the brackets and all that stuff. Oh, hey, hey, you're right. Yeah, so. 
anyway um all right guys so what we got done today is we got some fresh tires on the back of it we also got that the drums freed up so now the truck at least rolls um we still have to get working brakes and stuff like that but we did get our hood our hood labeled that's not what i meant to say our engine harness labeled so that we can go ahead and get that out of the way we still need to label our interior um for everything involving that and then we will label our back end where our tail lights and turn signals and all that stuff go so anyways like i said guys in the next video we've got cool springs going underneath th underneath this thing and we're going to try to get it to stop um so yeah guys i want to thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys next time